my name is Leonidas Galapagos. I'm the actor who was very fortunate and blessed to be able to play Swami Kriyananda in the film The Answer. Um, to tell you the truth, I was a little embarrassed um, when I found out I'd been cast in this role. When you find out the achievements um, and the work and the lives that Swami has touched, I mean, how could anyone play that? I felt a little bit like a phony. Um, but at the same time, I just hope I brought him some justice and I'd love to share some of my experiences with you guys and show you behind the scenes of where we shot and see some of the transformations that were uh, made. So come and have a look. Welcome to the Hollywood Church. Victor, Pavan and myself were all dreading this one scene. It's a six and a half page scene, but it's the most important scene in the entire film. Every single day, we're looking at the core sheet wondering when it was, and it was finally here. It's the day my character meets Yogananda. After reading Autobiography of a Yogi and traveling across country for four days, the moment was finally here, and I hope we caught the magic. I should tell you that I'm seeing you only because Divine Mother told me to. I want you to know that. I do only what Divine Mother says. I am accepting only those now with good karma. Come, kneel before me. So this is where we recreated Mount Washington. And as you can see, it's absolutely spectacular. So we shot a lot of the film here. But it's widely known that Paramahansa's meditation retreats were just surrounded by beauty. And as you can see, it's a little dry here in Northern California. So we had to go in and recreate that. And the grass was a lot greener. The sky was bluer. I mean, the flowers, we had to go in and make them pop. Looks a little different. Oh, Donald's bedroom, the dust bowl. All I can picture was the dust going in my eyes and getting my contacts and drying them out through my lungs. I was spitting dust for days. It must have been filled this room with dust and Pavan just kept going, yeah, more, more. Another take, another take. As I'm <laughs> just coughing everywhere. Wow. I could live here now. Can you guess where we are now? You're right, it's 29 Palms. This is where Master did a lot of his dictations and editing. One scene in particular, one of my favorites was where Paramahansa said to Walter, he said, you shouldn't be so serious, you know, relax. <laughs> How did you like that, Walter, huh? It's fine, sir. Oh, Walter, you are, you are too serious. You, you want to become more childish, Walter. Not so serious, more childish. Hmm? Welcome to the beautiful world of Encinitas. Not impressed? How about now? I've roamed the far hills and learned many skills I've wandered on many a shore Though often I've thought I'd gained what I sought The Orange Empire I've Railway Museum. Now this is home to over 200 historic trains and locomotives here in LA. Go sing with the sun and dance with the moon 
go ride on the highest star. This is one of our key locations that we had to have in the film. And I mean, this could not have been possible if it wasn't for our amazing producer, Kavita Aburoy Cole, who spent so many sleepless nights trying to get us locations like this. And I mean, on the same day, we filmed the New York docks right there. Welcome to the New York dock. Well, of course, there was a 20-foot green screen here. It's where Donald, a.k.a. Walter, says goodbye to his mum who's leaving for Egypt. Oh, I hate that sound. I have to go. So I was right at the start of the shot. They were just setting up, and I'm sitting up here, and I'm spinning the suitcase around waiting, and Pavan saw me, and he said, that doesn't look real. We need to make it look believable. So he thought it'd be a good idea to put in two sandbags or three or four, I can't even remember how many. So after doing about eight, nine, ten, eleventh take in a white suit and 90 degree heat and a sandbag in the bag, I kind of shot myself in the foot. But it was worth it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> 